so there's a lot that happened in this episode of Dragon Ball Super. It was one of the best episodes of the this arc for sure, you know. So yeah, let's get started. So I don't know for you, but I laughed a little bit, a little bit at this image there because I don't know he looked like a, a little baby. <laughs> John looked like a little baby, so you know I just laughed a little bit at this uh, shot of him. But yeah. Uh, we start where we left in the last episode. Uh, Jiren uh, doesn't think there's someone that can beat him. So yeah, Goku Goku thinks he can, but at the moment he doesn't have enough stamina. He's he's waiting for stamina, I guess, because we don't see him transform or do anything. So yeah. Uh, he gets attacked by like androids or robot, but we don't see them uh, till the till the end of the episode. But then we skip to Piccolo and Gohan. This fight we didn't get uh, a lot of it. We just got glimpse in the last episode and this one. But I hope there's gonna be a full fight of them because they they just took. We just saw a glimpse of this. So it's the Namekian versus Gohan and Piccolo. It looks really, really nice. You know, the teamwork between Piccolo and Gohan was top notch. But so, yeah, I, I want to see a full fight of these two. Because I don't know, the two Namekians versus Gohan and, and Piccolo, just the glimpse that they showed us, it looks very good. So yeah, I want to see a fight, a big fight. And the but the animation was for this just this part was just okay. And then we skip uh to uh Khalifla and uh Kel because yeah, I just want to say that there's so many things that happened in this episode that was crazy. So we skip to them there's that big lady that want to uh uh fight them. Because uh, I don't, uh, the god of the uh, of their universe say it's it's the good time to attack them because they just lost it. Uh, if you remember, he got eliminated by Jiren in the last episode. So yeah, but Kaba interferes, and uh, why he interferes is because he say he says that that Khalifa and Kel. Are, are the secret weapon of universe 6 because you 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 already already know Kel is like the female brilliant Kolifla can go super saiyan 2 so he interferes so he goes he go fight this girl, this lady i don't know i thought uh, that uh, Kaba was going to destroy her because there's a lot of character that showed up in the tournament, but they were just like they were weak as hell. They were they were were really weak. She was weak too, but for Kaba, it took him a, a, a while to to um, to beat you know. So yeah, I thought she was a character like uh, uh, you know uh, the Gobu Gobu no guy that got beaten by Jian uh, without even. Launching a punch. So yeah. And then he goes Super Saiyan. That's when I, I thought he was going going to defeat her easily. But he didn't. I don't know why. If you remember Dragon Ball Z. The Super Saiyan transformation was like OP. It was the, the strongest transformation of all. But in Super. Even though there's the God form and everything. I think... Uh, in my opinion, that they nerfed the Super Saiyan transformation uh, as hell. Like, the Super Saiyan transformation can't even beat her. And she's weak. She's she's one of the weakest opponents that we got. But yeah, she uh, Kaba gets beaten by her by a lot. Like, he didn't do nothing. And he, he even got saved by... by um, Vegeta, so yeah, Kaba. I knew he was he wasn't strong enough for this tournament, but he's weaker than I than I expected because she wasn't strong. Vegeta just blasted her away so is easily, you know. So 
Yeah, and he and Virginia was in base for him. He wasn't even super saiyan. So yeah, Kaba is weak as hell. So you know, then uh, Virginia saves him. He uh, and Kaba thanks him for saving him, but uh, Virginia wasn't having it. You know, because as you know, Virginia is the master of Kaba, and Kaba, uh, you know, he admires Virginia, but v you 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 know you guys know that Vegeta is not a uh, renowned to be uh to be to be good like he's he's so he's ruthless so he doesn't want to see a student weak like that it's he's not like Goku and Gohan you know Gohan was weak and Goku didn't really care Vegeta wants his son or his student to be strong so yeah and then I. I I don't really remember if it was like that. Oh yeah, it was like that. Uh, the lady um came back. She did like the expansion jutsu from uh, Naruto. You know, Choji does his expansion expansion jutsu and he rolls like that. <laughs> that I found it I found it funny. Uh, the first time she did that, I was like, yeah, <laughs> I I remember Naruto. So yeah, he gets. Again, he he gets his has his has beat by her, but then you guys, I know you guys knew that it was gonna happen because I knew as well it, it was going to happen. Kaba goes Super Saiyan two for the first time in Dragon Ball Super. He's the first Saiyan from Universe Six to go Super Saiyan, but he's the third one to go Super Saiyan two and beyond. The first one was uh, Khalifa. Uh, if you remember the, it was like a plot twist. Nobody liked it. She was, uh, he showed her, he showed her um, how to go Super Saiyan, and, and, it, and it was a tingly thing in the back. So you know, it, it went viral because that that's not how it how it happened in Dragon Ball Z. They changed it. And after that, after uh, Khalifa goes Super Saiyan 2, Kel goes uh, Super Saiyan Berserk, you know. So, uh, Kaba is the last one to go uh, Super Saiyan 2. But after that, an another thing happened. Topo just came for Vegeta. You know, at first Vegeta didn't want to fight Topo because he said he was the second fiddle. But at, at first I was like, you are the second fiddle too, you know, but yeah, uh, Topo said it, uh, said it to Vegeta too. So they start fighting. I hope uh, there's a full fight of them too. I don't think uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball are gonna do that too. I don't think Dragon Ball are just going to show us a little bit of the fight. They're gonna show us a big fight of them. So, uh, it, I think it's gonna be before the rematch of Goku versus Jiren. Obviously, because Goku versus Jiren is gonna be like the last fight. So yeah, we get that fight. We didn't get a lot, but you know they clashed. And after that, I don't. This epi that's why I like this episode so good. Everything that happened in, ep the, in the episode, something happened, and a few seconds later, another thing happened. So yeah, after that. Frieza goes uh, uh, after Kaba when Kaba Kaba was weak, like he he couldn't even go uh, Super Saiyan anymore. So yeah, Frieza goes after Kaba. He he destroyed him like easily. So he, yeah, uh, I like the music that uh, uh, came along uh, when Frieza uh, was fighting Kaba. It was the same music. That, uh, 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 in the episode of Jiren vs. Goku, I, I, I love this music. It was it It's one of the best. But then we found out the motive of Frieza, why he wants to win, and why uh, he wants... To, uh, what's his wish to... Uh, to uh, what's his wish uh, for the Super Dragon Ball? And his wish is to control all the gods. So, yeah, that's, I think, it's the first time we hear it. Frieza, as always, is has something back in his mind. We didn't know, but now we know that's his goal. And I don't know, does it apply to all the gods? 
or it applies to the the angels too you know does it applies to the omni king and the gods and the angels so yeah because the angels are stronger than the gods so that i don't know so yeah uh, goku gets attacked again by by the like robot robot android things and yeah he he basically said uh, he was getting his stamina back by fighting them so i think that's one one way to get his stamina back like in, in xenoverse i guess so yeah we i i don't know if we're gonna I don't think we're gonna see a lot of this fight because no, we didn't see a lot of this fight because Cauliflower at, came at the end to destroy the androids. So basically, they 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 were like others, other character in the tournament. They were they weren't uh, useful. It it was just to you know make uh, Goku look bad, but yeah, Cauliflower came to the rescue. Ah, uh, but. She didn't really came to save Goku. She just came to fight him. So what we get is uh, in the next episode preview. Spoilers if you don't want to know uh, uh, what what's gonna happen in the in the next episode. I I'm not. I, the only thing I know is uh, I think uh, as we see in the preview, Cauliflower is, is gonna fight Goku, but. She's gonna tag team with uh, Kel. That's I think that's what they said. They're gonna tag team to beat Goku. But yeah, I, I at one point Goku was fighting Khalif Khalifla at Super Saiyan. But after that, he was just fighting her in a base form. You know, Khalifla was in Super Saiyan two, and Goku was in base form. So that's how strong Goku is. He doesn't even need to go Super Saiyan, but that's why I I don't understand why he went uh, the first fight uh, when they fought. Why he went Super Saiyan? He doesn't even need to. We see it. We see it in the preview. So yeah, that's what we're gonna get in the next episode. the The animation in the in this episode was at some point was okay, but by the end of the episode, the animation was really good. Like, when uh, Kaba went Super Saiyan 2, the animation was great. Uh, after that, uh, when uh, Vegeta went against Topo and Goku was against the robot thing and Kalifla came, the animation, I think, was really better than at the beginning in the middle of the episode in the next episode it looks like the animation is gonna be great as you see goku there the animation the art that they put is looking uh, really nice so yeah that was my review for episode 112 of dragon ball super i do this kind of review every uh, uh saturday night like, comment, subscribe for more. This episode was hype. Like, it was one of the best episodes of the arc. Thank you for watching.